Hi, um, my name is Simon Bignall. I'm a psychologist at the University of Derby. Before here I was at uh, Sussex University for an undergraduate in psychology and then I went to Essex University to do a PhD in developmental psychology. And my specialisms are looking at autism, Asperger's and ADHD. So I'm predominantly coming from a developmental and a cognitive um, approach to my views of psychology and the applications of it. But more recently I've become interested in cyber psychology and issues concerning 3D virtual worlds. And I'm particularly interested in this and have been for a number of years because it goes right back to my youth. When I was uh, growing up I had one of the first computers and I got very interested in, in avatars. They weren't called avatars back then, they were called little computer people. But I remember I had one computer program uh, which was an amazing program for its day and it got me interested in looking at virtual life and this notion of identity in virtual worlds. Now this computer program of course as a 15 year old schoolboy, um, the first thing you do instead of feeding it like a Tamagotchi what you do is you starve him of course and my parents really objected to this and um, I remember them having a, a really powerful psychological effect about how this little um, computer person, this small avatar, uh, was getting iller and iller and iller. I didn't let him die after all, but that early on got me interested in avatars. And I've always had an interest in 3D virtual worlds. And this began my initial interest in the virtual world uh, Second Life, in which we've done a lot of development work at the University of Derby. And so what we can provide now in terms of research and development is a very customized, pedagogically oriented teaching and learning space. And so this really has dominated my area of research interest over the last few years. Um, within the context of academic research, I've been looking at how we can best provide 3D virtual learning spaces for the benefit of our students. And this has led me to do some research in looking at structuring these virtual worlds and particularly tailoring them for the benefit of our students. And over the years we've had a number of research grants which have allowed us to develop um, this interest. So um, initially starting back in 2006 where we put together a very aesthetically pleasing 3D space. So we had palm trees and virtual buildings and all manner of different things that looked very nice but of course were completely useless for teaching and learning. Having gone beyond that aesthetic, what we tried to do then was to make it a functional space. So our students would come in and actually be able to use this uh, environment. Um, so the avatars would come in, they'd get virtual lectures, virtual seminars and different problem-based learning um, assignments to do. Um, so going beyond that sort of very pretty um, palm trees and beaches aesthetic, we went on to a fun more functional aesthetic. So not only was the space pretty, but the students could learn it very effectively. Then we went fully over to the problem-based learning um, method of utilising these virtual spaces. And we found that the best way was to include lots of really highly structured social communication and teamwork where students could work together in innovative spaces within these digital environments for the benefit of solving a problem. We did, uh, in the initial instances of my JISC funded research, um, mental health awareness. And we've gone on to do sustainability awareness with Higher Education Academy funding. And more recently I'm looking at disability in the context of technology enhanced learning. So one of the things um, I want to push forward in the future in using innovative digital technologies is the idea of looking at identity and how we can benefit students and learners in 3D digital worlds for the benefit of science as a whole but particularly in finding out intimate questions about how identity is structured within these innovative virtual worlds. So um, I hope you join us in the 3D virtual world second life and um, check out some of the stuff we've got going on there. Thanks a lot.